tell y'all something. If I start crying, no little mob, I'm upset. I'm upset. Let me tell y'all something. I don't mess with nobody. No, no, nobody. I like to have fun. And I like to meet a lot of people. If you don't like me because of a video or whatever, that's you. And I'm crying because I'm upset. I'm upset because I let people get the best of me tonight. You're not supposed to be better than this. And I am hurt. Because I try to show people respect. I try to teach, I mean, treat people with respect. I try not to disrespect nobody because I'm not gonna let nobody disrespect me. So that's why I try to give people the up, up most respect. And I'm telling y'all, I'm not crying because I'm weak. I'm crying because I'm upset. So that's why I'm crying. But I'm telling y'all, the old me, I would have been in jail tonight. I would have been in jail. And I'm so happy God changed me and that God is working on me. And he's still working on me. So I don't want nobody to feel that. So tonight, I went to Hard Rock. And I'm sitting at the machine. And I sit at this, look, the machine I sit at. I sit at the machine with these same ladies. Every weekend, I sit at the same machine. And don't take it personal with these same white women. Every weekend, that's how they know me. And they know me because I treat people with respect. I treat people with respect and I try to give respect to everyone, everyone. But tonight, if I could have beat them girls and not go to jail, I would have beat their ass tonight. I would have beat their ass and stuff. But I thought about my job. I thought about how I changed my life. And that's not me. That's not me, because I don't want to be. I don't want to be in mess. I don't want to stoop to people level. And I don't want to stoop to young girl's life who younger than me. But anyway, I go to Hard Rock tonight. I'm sitting down just playing, playing. My husband Lee and two young girls came up to me. And one of them say, you peach mom. And I'm like, yeah, peach mom. And she went to talking to me. And she went to saying how her mama treat her. And I said, I'm not like that. I don't treat my kids like that. I love my kids. Let me tell y'all something. I love my kids so, so much that I would lay my life down for my three kids. That's how much I love my kids. I will give my children my last to make sure my children have. I will give my grandchildren my last to make sure they have. So one of them, it was a stud and her girlfriend. The stud was like 25. The young girl was like the girlfriend, like 24, 23. And she, the young girl just kept talking. She said, my mama loved my brother more than she loved me. 
And I said, I don't love my kids more than the other one. Because I love all my kids. I try to show all my kids that I love them. I love my kids. And she went to cry. And I told her, I say, I love my kids. I love my kids so much that I, I would lay my life down for my kids because that's how much I love. I love my kids. And I told her, I say, the pain that you're going through. And I told her, I say, you know what? I went to talking to her. I was saying, talking about when I was raped at 11 years old. And she went to telling me about some of the stuff she was going through as a child. And I grabbed, got up off the machine. I grabbed this young girl and I hugged her. And she crying. I'm crying. I told her, I say, don't be mad with your mama. It ain't that your mama love your brother more than she love you. Because sometimes a mother can love a child one of the one other than the other one because they feel that that one might be weaker. And her girlfriend just kept on like she wanna start with me. And she was like, Well, which one home with you? Which one still at home with you? I bet you got your son at home. I say, listen here. My son came back home to stay with me when his lease was up. But I don't love Nell. One of my kids nothing more than I love the other one. If one of my kids come, knock on my front door and say, Mama, I need to come home, I don't really care how many kids they got. We're going to make room because I love my kids. I love, love, love my kids so much. And she just kept on, kept on, like, starting. I'm like, why are you starting with me? What have I done to you for you to start with me? It's stuff. And the young girl just kept on, kept on wanting to start with me and stuff. So I asked the young, other young girl, she told me she was from Satan. So I, t I told the young girl, I said, I love my kids. I said, you know what? When I was growing up, what happened to me? I, was, I hated my mama. I hated my mama so much. My mama whooped me, whooped me. I said, but I'm 54 years old. I said, everything she did, all them licks, I deserved it, them licks. And I told her, I said, everything that your mama doing when you get older, you're going to be thankful your mama did that. I said, because sometimes we be thinking our parents don't love us, but they love us, but they just trying to show us. And her little girlfriend just kept on, kept on trying to start with me. And I'm like, why does this girl keep trying to start with me? The girl to my, the, the little girl, whatever, her girlfriend, she was like, well, my mama, I say, listen, I ain't your mama. I don't do that to my kids. I love my kids. And she just kept on, kept on, kept on. And she was like, don't know, right now, don't know man, can't no woman walk this earth, say a man take care of them. Ain't no man taking care of no woman these days. I say, well, hold on. My husband pay bills. My husband look out for me. My husband make sure I have. And she started going on and on and on and stuff. So I tell her, I said, let me come. And then she, like, she want to try me. So I called my husband. I said, let's walk. Can you come around him? He was like, what happened? I'm, I say, please come around him. When my husband came around him, this around now, the young girl don't like try me. Like, don't push me. And I had to push her bike to let her know, let me tell you something. I'm, you might be 25 and I'm 54. I'm from the hood just like you. I came from the dirt. I go back to the dirt. I'm not finna let you put, think you're going to put your hands on me and get away with it. I'm not doing that. I come to Hard Rock every, like every weekend. I do this every Saturday and I sit around the same people every Saturday. Every Saturday. And by the time my husband came, she asked my husband, who you is? And like, I'm trying my husband. My husband threw her up on the table. The girlfriend jumped in it. When the girlfriend, I like, she gonna jump in. I had to grab her and show her. I don't fight. That's not my lifestyle no more. I don't get down like that. I understand y'all love my daughter. Y'all love my daughter. But don't come at me because y'all my daughter fan. Don't do that because I don't disrespect nobody. I treat everybody with respect. Now I had to get the little girl on the ground and stuff. Then here come the police and stuff. And if it wasn't for them same white women, I probably would have been in jail. 
The white women had to tell the police they came to me because they know I don't mess with nobody. I do the same thing every Saturday. I don't mess with nobody. I treat people with respect. I have made a lot of sacrifices to make sure my children had. Don't come to me because of a video that you've seen and that y'all love my daughter. None of that. I'm all about positive vibe. That's all I want around me. That's why I go to Hard Rock to have a good time. I don't hang with females. And for y'all to be coming at me because the way that y'all feel that my daughter said I treated her. I never mistreated my kids. Not one of my kids. I struggled and I went without for my kids. And I'm not going to let nobody make me feel like I'm a bad mama. Like I mistreated my kids because I'm, I have never, ever, ever mistreated my kids. My children always had, my children always stayed in a nice apartment, a nice house, because I don't like feel. Never. There's nothing my kids ever wanted. Never. I'm going standing in line 5, 6 o'clock in the morning to make sure they got the new joy. And I'm walking to work by myself 3 o'clock in the morning to make sure my children had that I went without for my kids. I went to bed hungry for my kids to make sure my children had. I worked hard for my kids. In the streets, making money to make sure my kids had everything that they need. And I'm not finna get on him and let nobody just disrespect me and feel that y'all gonna try me. Cause I'm not gonna let nobody keep trying me and think y'all can handle me the way y'all want to. Because I feel like this, if y'all wanna keep trying me, I will lose everything, everything before I let somebody hurt me. Because something that my daughter told y'all 